Working with iBeacon locations is different from working with maps. The technology is often called micro-location because it can tell the difference between a few centimeters and a meter or more. Plus it works inside, which is somewhere GPS continues to be poor and understandably so. What I like about iBeacons is their subtlety. Hardware beacons are almost invisibly small, yet provide the ability for apps to respond to a user's precise location. You can now make apps for museums, galleries, stores, schools, warehouses, and more, and it took less than 30 minutes. Now remember, anyone can sit through a tutorial, but it takes actual work to remember what was taught. It's my job to make sure you take as much from these tutorials as possible. I've prepared another short review to help you check your learning. You can find a link to this on the main Hacking with Swift review page. Once again, it's time for your challenge. One of the best ways to learn is to write your own code as often as possible. So here are three ways you can put your newfound knowledge to use straight away to make sure you fully understand what's going on. First, write code that shows a UI alert controller when your beacon is first detected. Make sure you set a boolean to say the alert's been shown so it doesn't keep appearing. Second, go through two or three other iBeacons in the Detect Beacon app and add their UUIDs to your app. Then register all of them with iOS. Now add a second label to the app that shows new text depending on which beacon was located. And third, add a circle to your view, then use animation to scale it up and down depending on the distance from the beacon. Try 0.001 for unknown, 0.25 for far, 0.5 for near, and 1.0 for immediate. You can make the circle by adding an image, or by creating a view that's 256 wide by 256 high, then setting its layer.corner radius to 128 so it's round.